Hi, joining us today is Joe Coveney, Vice President of International Business Development on our Corporate Services team here in New York. Joe, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Cecilia. How are you? Excellent. So we're here today to discuss how trading works on our market platform. And let's, so let's begin to talk about how trading specifically works for international companies on the OTCQX and OTCQB and as they are cross-listed on their home country market exchange. Sure. So the way trading works, it's actually quite simple. Um, the best way to think about OTC Markets Group is we're almost like an extension of the local market. So what happens is when a company is listed somewhere else in the world, there's often a big misconception that just because you're public means that all U.S. investors can buy your shares. When in fact, that's not really true. For what it's worth, most U.S. investors prefer trading with U.S. ticker symbols in U.S. dollars during U.S. market hours. And that's really the role that OTC Markets plays and where we come into the big picture. So OTC Markets Group, we're a regulated market operator providing critical market infrastructure to brokers, investors, and public companies alike. Mm -hmm. So when a broker in the U.S. goes to transact on a foreign symbol, we are the marketplace where all that trading happens. We trade all foreign ordinary shares, or F shares, as well as ADRs, all level one globally, both sponsored and unsponsored. So a U.S. investor goes onto their brokerage account, they want to purchase a foreign security, and they can go ahead and do so, and that gets facilitated on the three different stock markets that we operate. Hmm. So when a broker receives an order, they have two options to execute. They can either cross that order off internally or they, and, and find a counterparty in the U.S., an OTC Markets Group would record the volume, or most likely, the broker will go into the local market directly on behalf of the U.S. investor and execute locally. And in that instance, the local exchange would print the volume. The shares would then settle in the local custodian system, most likely in a nominee account. So cross-trading on our markets, specifically OTCQX and OTCQB, is demonstrated to bring volume, liquidity, and U.S. order flow back to the home exchange. Very helpful insights. Thanks so much, Joe, and we look forward to future conversations.